hi there today we're going to use a different medium which is the Derwent colored pastel pencils and we'll talk about a few pros and cons of these pencils i also show you my experience with these colored pencils and whether i'm going to stick with them for a long time the Derwent colored pastel pencils are quite expensive and mine has about 90 colors let's quickly get to the drawing and we'll later get back to the colored pastel pencils we will start with our chocolate cake by using the grid method to draw the outline of the cake. I sometimes use a grid method to get a perfect likeness of what I'm drawing and there is nothing wrong with it. The grid method was used by the old master centuries ago. Once our outline is ready, let's use different shades of green to do the underpainting on which we can build the drawing. And some of the good things about this initial layer or underpainting is to provide shadows, depth, texture and contrast. It's also going to serve as a guide for tonal values. After the underpainting, we'll use a fixative to fix it and wait for a few minutes to dry before we start building on it with other colors. <laughs> and it's already looking good. To enjoy more of such tutorials, kindly subscribe to the channel. And thanks for subscribing. And because it's chocolate cake, we're going to use different shades of brown. So let's start with the icing on top of the cake. In my case, I have over 90 colored pastel pencils to shade with straight away without blending two or more colors to get a particular color. And that's another reason I did the underpainting to enhance the tonal values of the drawing. Back to the Derwent brand that I'm using. I bought this set of pencils over 8 years ago. And after using it twice and the drawing didn't turn out to be what I expected, I had to stop using it. And it was mainly because I thought these pencils were too expensive for me to waste them. But it's been with me everywhere I go because I knew I would one day need them. And there's the time. These pencils are very soft so I don't exert too much pressure else they will break and you waste them. And before I apply any color on the drawing, I have to try it on a separate paper and compare it to the reference photo. And it's helping me avoid lots of mistakes. And with this cake, I realized the source of light is coming from the right side. So most of the highlights are going to be on the right areas of the cake. And I'm glad to be getting this effect with these color pencils because I've been working with oil paints for a while now. And it's been a bit stressful, so I had to stop using it. Unlike the Prismacolor colored pencils, one of the few things I didn't like about these colored pencils was the fact that you have to spray the drawing with a fixative after a few layers just to make them stick. Sometimes, if it's not fixed properly, it becomes difficult for me to apply new layers of colors. And another thing I didn't like was the chalk residue that I have to clean after every drawing. And some of the good things about these colored pencils is the fact that it's faster to use and it's also easy to make corrections compared to the Prismacolor colored pencils. So at this time, I'm going to look out for all the shadows and take my time to work on them properly. And most of the shadows appear to be on the left side of these areas because of the source of light. And with the shadows on the icing, I use different shades and layers of green, red, purple, and blue. Though I added layers of brown, but all these colors came together to give the chocolate look with the eyes. The white charcoal pencil I've been using in my charcoal drawings played a very good role with the highlights of this cake. The highlights on the icing of the cake isn't really white, so I blended layers of yellow, orange and white. And you can avoid or minimize using plain whites in your drawing. And even the white things you see around you still have the reflection of other colors around them. To get a particular tonal value at a specific area, I sometimes have to superimpose layers of colors. And I repeated this technique to get the realistic foamy texture of the cake. 
compared to all the mediums that I've used with their limitations, I think these pencils are very good to use. And being the first time over eight years, I'm impressed with the realistic result that I got. And one of the things I realized about this drawing is that you have to know more about color theory just for you to understand which colors work together. I look forward to drawing more with these colored pastel pencils and I think you can stick around and learn more as I share with you the techniques I use. Kindly support the channel by subscribing. We appreciate your support.